everyone, it's TJ with Roller Skate Universe back with another one of these awesome product review videos that I like to do so much. And today we're going to go ahead and tackle the All American Dream Wheels from SureGrip. Um, not to be confused with the regular All American or All American Pluses. These are actually a reboot of a pre existing wheel that used to be made out of Vanathane real vanathane not what we have today uh so let's just go ahead and dive right in Of course, this wheel is a two-piece wheel. Something you really don't see on the dance wheel market is a two-piece wheel. You okay over there? Nah, I don't know. Anyways, it's a two-piece wheel. Uh, what's different about it is that it's not necessarily a replaceable tire like a lot of other two-piece wheels. Uh, this this hub, this, this second piece here, this aluminum hub in here actually serves a much different purpose. And that is precise bearing alignment. Um, that's all it's really there for. It's put in there so your bearings stay aligned. Let me explain further. Here you have a wheel, small and inoffensive, round and unassuming. Well, you see, they're just molded. That's it. There's really not especially on these older ones there's really no machining or anything that that really took place on them and when it did it was it was rudimentary it really wasn't very precise at all in fact um you know it, the tolerances inside in the bearing bore areas were not always straight so what you would wind up getting was a set of wheels that looked like they were absolutely perfect but one of the bearing bores would, would be off kilter with the other probably about a degree or so. Um, you know, or, or as much as three, maybe even five degrees on some of the worst ones. So the, the bearings, instead of being completely aligned, one would be off or both would be off inside of the wheel. And what would happen is that as that wheel would rotate, it would cause the bearings to bind up and bunch up inside of the wheel and it would actually scrub speed off. Another unfortunate downside to this is that it was also really, really, really bad for bearings. Who would have thought that bearings would not be able to handle weird axial side loads being displaced on them constantly at high, especially at high speeds? Who would have thought? So a long time ago, uh, Vanguard, which was the wheel company that created Vanathane, had created a set of wheels called the All-American Dreams, and they had these, these uh, two-piece uh, designs with a removable hub and C-clip, which we'll get a better view of later. But the reason they did that is because this was a precise machined hub that actually ensured the bearings were 100% straight and parallel with each other at all times, which actually resulted in longer bearing life um, and also um, higher sustain or uh, sustained higher speeds uh, because the bearings would not scrub off speed from not being parallel with each other completely. And you know, so there are some schools of thought that seem to think that um, it cools the bearings down. And a lot of those guys are the same ones that think fan jets. And although that was originally part of the design that it would cool the bearing down and all that, I don't personally believe it. And I've been around since the fan jet days and I, yeah, I, I, I just don't buy into it. Now, unfortunately I'm kind of recovering from a knee injury, so I really can't do any footage of what I was doing on these uh, because I took a few too many hits to the floor. So I'm just gonna roll that beautiful bean footage and show you a bunch of intense, slow close-up shots of these things. Oh, another thing, 
this formula here, um, if this is any different from the velvet, um, man, I, I would never, I would never believe it. Uh, they, they tend to pick up a lot of stuff off the floor. It's a really porous formula. Even if you have these remachined, uh, if you have wet honed or uh, grooved, which you can't do with the original ones. The original ones have asbestos. I don't care what they say, this is not actual vanathane. This is not actual vanathane. Unless these letters are a metallic red, this is not real vanathane. Is not. Because the original ones were vanathane and they had metallic red shiny letters. So don't machine vanathane. Don't do it. Uh, you'll kick up asbestos into the air, you'll breathe it in, you'll get lung cancer within 10 to 15 years. Let's not do that. So uh, this is basically the same formula. It's just not colored. Imagine how cool it would be though if they came out with a velvet colored Amer All American Dream. That'd be really, really sick. Cause the velvets do have kind of a, kind of a, a, a wobble effect in there with the bearings as far as the alignment. And uh, you know, it, it would be nice if they were a little bit more precise. But they're not really, it's not a high speed wheel, so is it something that you really need to have? You know, precise bearing alignment? Not, not really, especially if all you're doing is like middle stuff, maybe a couple of slidey things, stuff like that. Shuffle work, you know, some kicks, actual JB skating, stuff like that. That wheel is fine. And also before I go, I just want to give a huge Shout out to skatecloseouts.com. Also Roller Skater, that's R-O-L-L-E-R-S-K-8-R.com. As well as if you're on Facebook, Roller Skating Worldwide, go check it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and roll these clips. This is TJ with Roller Skate Universe. Happy skating.